Wearing a cast sucks. It's not breathable, it's not water friendly, and you can't take it off. If you've got an itch, you need to get to. I mean, I've heard all of this. I've never broken a bone, knock on wood, but I've seen lots of friends who've broken bones and they've had a cast. My kids have broken bones and have had casts and they're gross. They're absolutely gross. 3D printing has a better way. I'd like to hear about it. 3D printing is being used in the medical field more so than ever before. A company by the name of Active Armor has created a free app that allows you to scan a hand, a wrist, an ankle, and then it creates a cast in CAD for the part you scan. Now, hey, no, stop, stop, you stop right now because we have to make something abundantly clear. I am not giving you medical advice, nor am I telling you to practice medicine at home. Medicine should be practiced by trained professionals. Don't do this at home, kids. For this to work, a medical provider will use the Active Armor free app and scan the area that needs a cast applied. And in order for Active Armor to accurately create the cast in CAD, there needs to be markers on your skin before you scan. So Active Armor takes that scan and creates the model within the CAD environment. And then that model, that STL, is sent off to the print provider who is going to utilize 3D printing to create this 3D printable cast. In fact, Active Armor on their YouTube channel has videos showcasing the scanning and how they finish the casts. And it's wonderful. I'll put a link in the description. I had some scans done of this arm and I printed it myself because it's not for medical purposes, it's to showcase. You wanna see them? I got a blue one. Of course I got a blue one. I got a gold one too. Of course I got a gold one. And a red one because why not? You'll see the red one actually has some adornments to it and this is part of how Active Armor finishes casts. Because it's 3D printed, you have the option of using zip ties to make a permanent cast or elastics in order to make a removable cast. What material did I print my casts out of? This is Polymaker's Polylite ABS. In fact, ugh, ABS is typically icky. It's gross and it stinks. ABS was my first material that I ever printed with back in 2014. And even back then, it stunk. Polymaker has recently released their Polylite ABS, and it comes in a variety of colors. Of course, I like the blue. Obviously. Polymaker also now has Galaxy ABS. It's got sparkles in it. For the Polylite ABS, I had absolutely zero issues printing with it, and I used it on three different machines. I printed on my FlashForge Creator 4, Rage 3D Pro 3, and of course, I printed on my Voron. Polymaker is the one who is making this episode possible. They make amazing materials. The ABS is great, but so is everything else they produce. Show them some love. So the red one has the adornments, and I, I do have these other ones that that I, I, I printed just as a, as a showcase, but um, hmm. <laughs> if you check out this design, this 3D printable cast, it could be that in the future, your cast could enable cool designs in your arm or leg or ankle or whatever that allow you to have some creativity. It's got little interlocks here so that the elastic goes through and then uh, it loops over and connects up with these little tabs right here. There we go. Look at that. It's ABS. It's shock resistant. It's comfortable. When they have these casts for finishing, obviously Active Armor, they do a lot of the, the printing for this in-house and they, they finish these, they sand down spots, they can put in foam padding in order to make it so that it doesn't rattle around just in case. My scan was originally fairly snug. Uh, I have, since the scan, lost a little bit of weight. 
And that's another advantage that 3D printable casts have is that if the body topology changes and what was once tight is now loose or what once was snug is now even more snug, you can 3D print a new version after taking a scan and you don't have to use traditional methods to cut off a cast and then redo a cast. It's it's glorious. Another aspect of why this is so exciting is because while we talk about print providers that can print these, you yourself could be a cast manufacturer and a print provider. Let's get into it. So Active Armor does a lot of the printing in-house and then any overflow when they can't satisfy in-house is sent to Slant 3D. To be a print provider here in the United States, you need an establishment registration through the FDA. The fee for this establishment registration through the FDA is $6,493 annually. And along with that, you would also be required to carry medical device insurance. And this all makes sense because we're dealing with a certain level of medical devices. And so being established with the FDA and carrying medical device insurance, it makes sense. Now the printing of these that actually go out to be used as medical devices is done in ABS that is ISO 10993-5 certified. Look it up. But essentially, if an ABS material is ISO 10993-5 certified, it means it's safe to hang out as a cast on your skin for an extended period of time. Active Armor sells ISO 10993-5 certified ABS in three kilogram spools for $210 US. All of this is so that it can be regulated you don't want someone saying they're certified or they can do this and they run an improper cast, an improper machine, an improper material or an improper finishing technique and then you're left with something that doesn't actually do the job on your arm if you need your arm to be healed. Don't! You don't want that to happen and so all of these certifications are to prevent that and to make sure going forward proper things are used. This is where it gets phenomenally exciting. The Active Armor app is free. It will continue to be free and it's going to upgrade to being able to scan other parts of the body that aren't the hand, the wrist, or the ankle. Companies like Polymaker are currently investigating how they might get their ABS products ISO certified. And as you know, it's good to have more options. Now you at home, you may have yourself a machine or a number of machines that can print ABS really well. Voron people, I'm talking to you. At home, you could apply and get an establishment registration with the FDA, pay the fee, get the medical device liability insurance, and then you could also print these medical devices, these 3D printable casts to be used by patients to heal their broken bones. Now though, I want you to think even bigger. I want you to put on your thinking cap and start to think about what this means, not just at a county scale or a country scale, not even a global scale, because we realize that additive manufacturing is helping to empower the human race like never before and 3D printable casts are just another way that 3D printing is allowing us to do things faster, better, and for less money. Around the globe, there are plenty of reasons why this would be preferred over typical casting methods. And it's exciting to think about how this will enable people around the world to have not just bones healed, but healthier skin during the process, less itching, the ability to shower or participate in water sports while the cast is on, that blows my mind. Stuff like that really look towards a fun future. Going even further, we talk about humanity as, as a race that needs to go 
into space and explore the worlds that are out there. And we've already talked about how 3D printable ceramics can empower spacecraft to be easier to reuse and dissipate heat better. Now we're talking about technologies that will allow us to help to heal broken bones when someone is adrift in space on a space station and they don't have time to wrap an arm in zero G. Plus, if you think about it, it makes sense to have something that is so easily made, possibly reusable, and allows people to still do more as a human than with a typical cast. I would love to hear your thoughts on this because this just is amazing to think about. These are the stories of 3D printing that are taking humanity forward. And I really wanna thank Active Armor for letting me talk about their system. If you want any more information on them, there will be a link in the description. Plus a huge, huge thanks to Polymaker for making this possible, for supplying the materials and just being all around fantastic humans. Obviously show them some love. I'll put a link in the description, go click it. Well, if you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, heal all the bones. And as always, high five.